All right, today we're going to take a look at a commercial MRE from 2018 from XMRE. So this one is menu number two, chicken burrito bowl. This one is quite fresh, at least as far as packing date. It has a lock code on it of 8143. So this was packaged on the 143rd day of 2018. And here is our entree, I believe. This is the Chicks Burrito Bowl. The XMRE includes a branded heater sleeve, which is a nice touch, and it even is lined inside to make it a little bit better thermally. We also have chocolate chip cookie, trans fat free. We have chipotle tortillas. And we have an orange beverage base powder. Cheese spread, plain cheese spread. And this is barbecue chickpeas. And we have the new Flemish ration heater, a beverage bag, and the heating element for the Flames Ration Heater. And in the accessory pack, we have a Mary Spoon, salt and pepper, moist toilet, and we have military packaging coffee instant type 2, sugar, and coffee mate creamer, and a napkin. Alright, the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and use this Flames Ration Heater to heat up the entree and the coffee, and maybe we'll throw the uh, cheese spread in there too. Mix up the coffee. This is where the beverage bag definitely, hot beverage bag definitely comes in handy. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the dry stuff first. Flemish Ration Heater Bag, open up the element, which is stored separately. We'll drop that in here, and then we'll put our entree in here, and the coffee. And just to really give this a good test, we'll put the cheese spread in there too. And we'll add 3 to 5 ounces of liquid, in this case water. I'm going to add the full 5 ounces since I'm putting so much in there. I'm going to close this up. This will stand on its own so we don't need a rock or something. And we'll wait for the reaction, which should be any second. And there it goes. And we'll put this off to the side, give this about three to five minutes to heat up. This is the chocolate chip cookie. Looks like that can go right in this round compartment here. This is a, it's a good looking cookie right there. Hopefully the taste being trans fat free will be as good as the look. The uh, chipotle tortillas, I could have heated these up too. But that's okay. These are fresh enough. I don't think they're going to be falling apart. Too bad. Let's see. See how the seams are. Yep, that's not bad at all. It definitely has a little uh, chipotle smell to it. No doubt. Here's the XMRE barbecue chickpeas. And that leaves us with our orange beverage base powder. I'm just going to take 12 ounces of water. And there's no mistaking that color. And that leaves us with our entree, coffee, and cheese spread, which are incredibly hot right now. And this is where you really do need a hot beverage bag. A regular Ziploc bag probably might not stand up to that heat. So I think if you're using a regular bag, you might have some concerns about uh, chemicals in the plastic seeping into the beverage. And 
see how hot the chicken burrito bowl is. That's extremely hot. It's my first look at a chicken burrito bowl. There it is. Let's check this out. Okay, that looks and smells pretty good. Definitely has a, a packaged or a canned kind of a smell to it, which makes sense, but it's not a bad smell and it's obviously something that's quite processed. But you can see we have a lot of rice and we get uh, some chunks of chicken here. Look like okay sized chunks. They don't look overly processed themselves. Uh, beans, corn, and then this looks like, see the tomatoes or peppers? Looks like it's probably tomatoes. Actually pretty good size piece of tomato there. It's not like uh, really skimping on that. And uh, looks like there's some little spices in there. But uh, why don't we go ahead and try this, see if I can get a little bit of everything on here and give it a taste. That's, uh, that's actually quite good. It has a lot of flavor to it. It's a little bit, a little bit smoky. And uh, well, I wouldn't call it hot, it definitely has a little bit of um, a little bit of spice to it. Looks like um, under the term spices, it includes jalapeno pepper, paprika, cane sugar, smoked paprika, dehydrated orange peel, citric acid, salt, pasilla chilies, and dehydrated green onion. And it seems like that does come through pretty good. This really doesn't seem like it needs a lot of dressing up. It's uh, quite tasty on its own. Like I said, I wouldn't say this is particularly spicy, but it's definitely not bland either. As if that weren't enough, we also do have the Chipotle tortillas, so you can you actually can have this as a burrito. I'll just give that a little taste. Yeah, that's good. And the uh, the chipotle of the tortilla gives it even a little bit more of a kick. The cheese spread is hot, and I think we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put a little bit of that on here and see how it is with cheese. I wanted to try it by itself first, but I also want to try it with a little bit of this cheese on it. Give it a few minutes to re-solidify. I thought it was going to come out as a liquid, but that'll give it another dimension. You could add your own hot sauce. This doesn't come with hot sauce, but you could certainly add your own. <laughs> now it kind of tastes like something from from Taco Bell. It's got that artificial cheese taste to it. I think it's fine on its own. But of course, that does mean trying to find something to use the uh, cheese spread on, so you can just use it on the tortillas like you would the cracker. And that's good too. Try the uh, Type 2 coffee, spray dried. Nothing wrong with that. These barbecue chickpeas. This is good, it's kind of an understated taste. Chickpeas are, they're pretty light. I'm not sure if these are freeze dried, how they're prepared, but uh, the uh, barbecue sauce on them is not uh, terribly spicy. It's uh, this is something you'd think you'd find out you know, standard barbecue potato chips, or any other kind of good corn chips. Or all these things are really working nice together. That's uh, one thing I could definitely say about this meal. They definitely put some thought into it and put the right things together. I think you could even gun dog this up by adding some of these to this. And actually, you could add some cheese, some of these, and put it on here. I think it'd be a winner. I'll show the orange beverage base powder drink. And that's an old standby. It's good. It, in a way, it sort of doesn't fit because of the fact that it um, it's not the carbohydrate one, so it kind of tastes like tang, which gives it that uh, breakfast kind of a taste. But it's just a, a way to have a flavored drink. And then the last thing is the trans fat free chocolate chip cookie. Which still tastes pretty good despite being uh, trans fat free. Nice and crispy, crunchy. Alright, so that was a look at a 2018 MRE from XMRE. This was menu number two, chicken burrito bowl. And thank you for watching. And it is actually quite good with those chickpeas in there. I forget I should try that out. It gives it a nice little extra crunch.